just feel like I need help with my courage. Yeah. I just don't feel very courageful. Oh! <laughs> Why are we on Maruto? Well, Maruto. Bilish. Why are we on Raruto? Why are we turning Scooby Doo? Oh, it just sounds good. Scooby Doo is on Raruto. You know? That's so, that's so good. Don't push you in the seat. Don't push me out of the frame. I'm sorry. I'm thinking like about here. You know, no, maybe get a towel not, out. Definitely not, Joel. This is not. Oil up? No, this is not a training environment. I need a sweet tan right Who now. Who are you expecting to oil you? Because when you did the mime, you just did this Mitch. as opposed to this. Uh, almost certainly, you will be doing my back. <laughs> 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 oh, I tell you what, I do want. Aubergine. The penis emoji. Joel, are you going to buy that? Yes, I am, because that's a funny Instagram dish. Bonjour, Nish. Au revoir. Nish, this is going to be a great Instagram. <laughs> Boo! I cannot believe you bought an aubergine. I'm not going to eat Instagram it. Instagram Yeah, I'm not going to eat it. I'm just going to put it in front of my crutch and go, naughty. <laughs> this is the epitome of Western decadence. This is great. It's making me very excited. <laughs> OK. <Shut up. laughs> the only things that happen in circles is, is dancing and fighting. Do fights happen in circles? Yes, in school, immediately. As soon as a fight happens, oh, yeah, circle. That's true. And everyone shouts fight. And everyone's like, fight, fight. And then after school, the circle happens, everyone's like, dance, dance, dance. What school did you go to? Dance school. Where the uh, where the heck in the world are we, Nish? What do you do when the pilot announces the destination of where we're flying to? Oh, I just pop on my noise cancelling headphones. I don't I don't even watch the uh, oh, safety. Oh shit. Are you sure? I need the toilet. Fuck. Is there, does anyone have a toilet roll? Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is, literally... is there a toilet in here? No, of course not. It's just an abandoned house. Fucking hell. Uh, my stomach is currently misbehaving. I don't want to give you too much information, but it is basically Niagara Falls down there. Good God. It's like something out of Willy Wonka. The last one I did, honestly, you could have drowned Augustus Gloop in that chocolate river. All quiet on the southern front. If you get my drift, what I'm saying is, I have passed solid stools. Never celebrated one more vociferously in my entire life. I was down there and I felt the sweet, sweet tang of solid feces on anal fissure. <laughs> 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 Joel, if we got stuck here like in the movie Alive, which part of me would you eat first? Oh, good question, Nish. Which part of me would you eat first? I don't know, Joel. I think it'd all be quite lean and chewy. You've got, like, quite chunky legs. I think I'd probably eat, eat your legs. The word chunky was not in play. Just feel like I need help with my courage. Yeah. I just don't feel very courageful. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Ooh. Feels good. That actually genuinely helped. I don't think I've ever been this tired in my entire life. The, the trek really took it out of me. Some people keep on calling it a walk, which I think completely undermines it. You've got to call it a trek. You know? It, you, because trek's got a K in it, so it sounds, it sounds like it's difficult. Whereas a walk's just like a, well, I'll just go for a walk. No, no, no. It was most definitely a trek. I wouldn't consider it a climb, but it was a trek. A walk's got a K in it. A walk's got a K in it. A walk's got a K in it. <laughs> Damn it. Come on in, Liz. I mean, to be fair, the ground is pretty comfy. Yeah? Yeah. Come on in, Liz. How you doing? Uh, really awful. Yeah, I feel like, disgusting. Really awful. Like, I feel disgusting. Okay. You okay? Yeah. I just keep thinking it's over and it's not over. It's alright, tomorrow's all downhill. Tomorrow's all downhill. 
literally it can only go downhill from here. I've come up with a, a, a great name for the llama. Yeah. Brian. I think that's my favourite. Brian, just Brian. Brian the llama. Brian the llama. It's got a ring to it, you know. Mish, let's get out of these wet clothes. That's the sexiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Thanks, Mish. Oh my god, man. This is the least sexy I've ever felt. Yeah. Well done. Proud of you today. Well done, mate. Proud of you too. Any question, Mish? Where's your toothpaste? On the toothbrush. Where are Why aren't you using a sink, Bill? Why aren't you using one of the many sinks that we've been provided? Um, I swallow it whole. What? That's not good for you. Yeah. But, well, if they allow it to be in your mouth, then surely it's allowed to be in your stomach. That's not how anything works. You have to spit it out. Roll. Joel. Yes. Can I ask you something? What? Can you just quickly show me... Are you... Dressed in your full running kit? Yes, I am. <laughs> That's what I'm going to run in tomorrow. So you're just... Minus the jumper. Sorry. Just fully in your running kit. So I'm just going to get up, take my jumper off, start running. That's what I used to do in my school uniform in school. Sorry, mate, what? I used to get in my school uniform before I went to sleep. You used to sleep in your school uniform? And I'd wake up, put my tie on, put my shoes on. Get on the bus. That is so weird. Save time. That is so uncomfortable. Save so much time. Then. Your school uniform must have stank. Probably. But you know what? I'd rather have that extra sleep. That sweet sleep I'm going to have. Look at you. You're stood up filming me right now. That is extra sleep. Joel, I've said it once before. I'll say it hundreds of times again. You're a profoundly weird man. <laughs> it turns out the uh, sheep community is not uh, particularly judicious on the whole butt wiping front. I mean, it's, that seems bizarre to me. It'd be like going into a barber's and the trainees learning how to shave your butt before they learn to give you a haircut. Say what you will about Joel Dummett. He can really shave shit from a sheep's backside. Surely it should be the other way around. The people who are most experienced, I mean, it's something my mum always taught me. Only let experienced people near your butthole. I think this evening is going to end up with Joel shearing my butthole. Watch this. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Your witness. I'm thinking I might actually hire Nish when I go on holiday to like stay at my house and like frighten away burglars and make people think that there's there's someone home. I mean, there would be someone home, it'd be Nish. Keep going back, Joel. That guy looks like he kissed himself goodnight, eh? <laughs> if you don't know what it is, don't touch it. Yeah. And if you do know what it is, you don't have to touch it. <laughs> okay. hey. That's Great. actually a good okay, rule so, for so, life. So, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> print out the yeah. T-shirt. I reckon it's near enough. It's really a one-man job, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but you, what you have to understand, Larry, is between me and him, we make one useful man. One useful human being. In this industry, you know, God gave you one mouth and two ears. Yeah. So you listen twice as hard as you talk. Okay. Yeah. And you'll get onto it. And you don't eat the wall. I, I can handle beer. I am concerned for Joel. Joel has not seen a carb post 9-11. <laughs> you know what they say? You can take the boy out of Croydon, but you can't stop that boy from huffing vodka cocktails. He teaches them, teaches them mean. Is that a phrase? No, he teaches a mean. He teaches, treat, treats a mean, teach a mean. It's not teach a mean, keep them keen. Teach a mean, keep them keen. That's the phases. That's not, you couldn't even say the word phrase. That's you it. just said teach a mean, keep them keen. That's the phases. I've been kind of practicing in my mind. What do you mean you're practicing in your mind? You know, I think they call that thinking. I thought I was getting better at it and then I looked at the sheep that I did last, and I mean, it was, it had quite a lot of hair left on it. Do you, I mean, do you even call it hair, fur? Shh, wool. Uh, after a full day's shearing, by that I mean an hour and a half, um, 
I've had myself some lagers. I've had one, which I downed very quickly. Um, downing is apparently when you put it down quickly, quickly. And then I've had another half. So um, I've had one and a half lagers. And I am not gonna lie. Uh, that's it, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I have a lot in common with the sheep, you know? Just always following other people. Don't really know what's going on, and every now and again I just... Someone cuts my hair. It's such an easy pun. You. I love you. You love me. Sorry for my bad jokes. Guys, I'm having the time of my life here.